now we have the bellows to attend to. Um, there's a few things we need to do to the bellows to actually make them kind of work. And the main thing is, um, when you mount the lens on your plate <coughs> that you just made, uh, the retaining ring for your uh, Copal Zero shutter is 40 millimeters in um, the outer diameter. So you need a f at least a 40 millimeter diameter hole in this bellows front panel here um, to be able to mount your lens properly. And there's a couple of ways you can get around that. One way is to get a 40 millimeter drill, a hole saw, and kind of just draw a drill a hole into here. Um, I'm going to be doing it by taking a Dremel with the cutting tool uh, and just kind of cutting out a rectangular chunk out of here. Um, this bellows is actually in, it's in okay condition I guess but it's, it's not great. There's a few pinholes and stuff and it's kind of coming apart. Um, so I'm eventually going to replace these um, anyway with a, a new set of bellows so I'm not really too concerned about what happens to this particular set. But if you're going to be keeping your bellows, then maybe the best uh, option is to get a hole saw and saw um, this 40mm uh, hole out. And then you can use these original mounting, four mounting holes in the corner here, to mount to your lens board. And um, that's, that's one option, um, but uh, I found it, it's probably going to be easier to just hole saw, the, uh, drill, uh, cut the hole kind of rectangular chunk out, leaving a metal frame so that this actually has some kind of rigidity and uh, just using some contact cement to cement directly to the lens panel. Uh, that way also you don't have to worry about getting your lens panel perfectly centered because you have a rectangle here you can kind of, um, the lens panel will be kind of sitting in here so it's, it's facing this way basically and so your lens panel has some kind of leeway to go uh, backwards and forwards so you can locate it uh, anywhere uh, when you glue it. <coughs> That'll save some headaches. Um, but yeah, it's up to you what you do. Uh, I'm going to take a Dremel to it because it's, it's, this is probably quite thin and easy to cut. So um, I'll do that now. Okay, so now I've uh, finished grinding out this chunk here. Uh, I don't know what it was, but it was certainly tough. And I got through about three grinding discs on my Dremel trying to get this out. But um, it's done, and um, there's a lot of sharp edges along the back, so I'll, I'll file them away afterwards. Um, the bellows still need um, some work, but I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, while I have the Dremel out, I thought I'd um, finish grinding down these rivets from the uh, film uh, kind of masking plate. So um, you need to grind them flush because when you glue the uh, spacer on for the back, um, you want a nice flush, smooth surface so you get a good glue contact or screws or whatever you're using. So I'm going to get those down flush. Now that the uh, front standard is finished, we want to attend to the bellows. And um, uh, what I've done here is, well, here's removed bellows, and I want to repair the uh, cracks along the folds here. There's a few kind of cracks in the fabric leather stuff, and um, I'm kind of worried that they might uh, leak light. So I'm going to patch them up with some liquid rubber. Um, but first, we need to kind of hold this out so we can apply it and um, you know let it dry so it doesn't all stick together. So I've cut out these uh, bamboo skewers. Um, they will kind of kind of act as struts to hold this out. And um, I don't know what length these are, but you know you can experiment. I'm sure. Uh, so I'm just going to jam these in the corners here to hold the bellows out straight. 
I found that if you use more than two, they kind of like act against each other and they kind of pop out and actually even with two, it's a bit of a pain to try to get them in, as you can probably see. They kind of pop each other out. No, there you go. So, yeah, now it's all propped out. And um, I don't know if you can see. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, but um, yeah, probably not. There's, there's cracks all along, anyway. So I've got some liquid rubber. Um, I think in the US it's called, um, I don't know, liquid electrician's tape or something like that. But any kind of black rubbery compound will do. And basically, I'm just going to apply it. Actually, I think I'll use a, a skewer. Uh, that, the the cut-offs I have from the skewer to, cut, to apply it. So, yeah, it's just simple as getting a bit on. Uh, my bamboo skewer popped out, but uh, yeah, getting some on and just um, applying some like so. And then, yeah, leaving it to dry. So, yeah, do that for the whole bellows and then leave it to dry. And hopefully it should be fully light tight. 